day getting some coffee for everyone. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look, they have cannolis and stuff and cookies. see for Jade sent me these they even have like melon flavored too after walking around we stopped by at this little truffle pasta restaurant it's really tiny but it was so good you guys it was actually near Airbnb like literally right around the corner my brother got fettuccine and my sister and I got the ravioli it was so good I also got some stuff to go for my fiance to try Oh, and it was not that expensive either. I would say it was pretty cheap. And then we went back to the Airbnb and I just got ready for bed and decided to finish up editing and I made a cocktail to end the night. All right guys, we're at the Trevi Fountain again today, but this is what it looks like during the day. It's beautiful, oh my God. There's so many people here. Today is a walk-in shopping day and we spotted a Uniqlo. Oh, nice yeah. Okay. Okay. So we ended up walking over to the Pantheon after we were done taking pictures at the other spots and we were able to get in for free. I thought you had to pay because I remember like seeing something about paying but I guess the day and the time that we went you didn't have to pay to go in so that was really nice. There's some tombs in here of like famous people like the um, public figures of Italy so I definitely recommend coming especially if you can get them for free and here's the big pillars of the outside of the Pantheon. They're like known for those big pillars outside and there's tons of people that day. Can you show them the cup you're getting? I'm gonna vlog today. I barely vlog today. I got caught in the rain. Hey guys, good morning. It is our last day here in Rome. Just gonna wash my face and then we're gonna get ready and head out. It is 5.15 right now. I don't think I'm gonna do my makeup today just because it's so early right now and I don't want my makeup sitting on my face for that long. But yesterday we went shopping. My aunts went to Celine and got some stuff. I was actually surprised my mom and I bought her a Dior bag. It's her first Dior bag and my mom's not a big designer person like anymore. She used to be like back in the day, but I really wanted to get her something for her birthday. So when my aunt and my mom were using the restroom in Dior, I pulled out my passport and my card and I was like, please don't let my mom pay. Like if you can just 
pay for my mom's bag with my card um, and stuff before she gets back. So the guy was so sweet, so nice. I'm just going to put on some Kimmy Brow and my chapstick and then we'll be done to change. I already laid my clothes out last night because I had to start packing. So this is our last night here. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and change and we'll see you guys in a little bit when we head out for the day. So the bag that I brought on this trip was my Chanel Mini, but honestly, like, it's raining and stuff, and I just didn't feel comfortable wearing it, so thankfully my fiancé brought this, like, bag that he got on Amazon. He didn't use it. He ended up using his other bag, his bum bag. Holds a decent amount. My camera fits in here, and I put, like, my lip balm and, um, a battery and my little mini sunscreen in here. All right guys, we made it. There was like no traffic, which is perfect. And there's like literally no one here. This is what um, the church looks like, the square in the morning. Oh, and then I got this little pastry. It's like known in Rome. It's basically like a donut with whipped cream inside. And then we also stopped by to get coffee, so. Here's my fiance taking pictures. <laughs> it's almost seven, you guys, and the line is really long already. Like, there's so many people here to come. So I highly recommend you guys get here very, very early because by the time that we were done going through the St. Peter's Basilica and the museum underneath, it was so freaking busy you guys have no idea like the lines were wrapped all the way down the road and like then some i feel like people had to wait at least like 10 hours that day to get in if you're at the end of the line but it's so worth it to go in here it's so beautiful the sculptures the artwork every little detail and everything is just stunning they were also holding mass in a few areas of this church as well if you wanted to join so here's a little example of that and then this is the tomb of the apostle peter i think he's like actually underneath that altar that's in there behind those gates you're not allowed to go in but i try to get as much in this clip as possible this is the museum that's actually in the um church as well we got in for i think six euro there's also a gift shop as well and everything was so much cheaper than getting it at the vatican museum so if you guys are coming here skip out on getting the gifts from the gift shop at the vatican and come here instead but here is a final look around the ceiling so beautiful <laughs> for later? No. You sure? Alright, just got some tiramisu from this place. It was on my list to try. I got two, one classic and one strawberry for later. But we're on our way for lunch right now. Finally got a Hugo Spritz. Our brother's beer. That looks really good. Thank you. Let's see this. Hey guys, everyone is asleep. It is almost 1 in the morning and I fell asleep when we got back because we were up so early this morning to go to um, the Vatican City again. So I woke up and I was just cleaning up around the Airbnb because everyone's like asleep. Um, I was just like washing some dishes and like finishing up on like my last piece of laundry that I wanted to do before we go And then I was just double checking with the next day with the hotel that we're going to um, At our next stop, but I want to share with you guys the tiramisu that I got from Pompey this place right here One is strawberry this one and then the other one's a classic tiramisu um, I totally forgot I fell asleep for so long. I think we got back I want to say around maybe 
4 o'clock, 3 or 4 o'clock. And then um, I fell asleep up until maybe 11. So yeah, I pretty much got my night's sleep because our flight is out really early. We're probably leaving here like at 5. So just in about 4 more hours. Yeah, 4 more hours we're out of here. So I'm just going to probably stay awake and finish packing and stuff. But yeah, okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.